Well, Sagittarius, happy birthday, first of all. And secondly, you are the consummate adventurer of the Zodiac. So let's see what else we have. We have quieting the mind, maybe a good time to meditate and center yourself in terms of your laws of attraction, what you want in love, opening your chakras, so that is the advice, as well as divine matrix. You're in a time of redefining what you want and how you're going to manifest it, a time that feels probably mysterious to you. But it is a beautiful time. It's opening to the discovery of the Zodiac and the world at large. So I am running a special in the comments. You'll see it pinned there, holiday special. And for those of you who are new, thank you and welcome to the channel. I am asking for any advice, suggestions. Tell me where you're watching from in the world. But I would love for comments and ideas about, you know, a little fresh spin on readings. What is it you'd like to see that you haven't seen? We have the overall, oops, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is Ten of Pentacles. Well, Sagittarius, look at you manifesting legacy love. Legacy love is a marriage energy. It is the energy of transforming a beautiful rainbow, something very fulfilling emotionally, into the energy of creating till death do us part, a love that will traverse and will create a beautiful family, beautiful home, you know, a home in which there's plenty of abundance, retirements, a beautiful life. This is truly about having a beautiful, complete, satisfying life in every way. The mutual energy between you and your beloved in the recent past is a lover's card. You've had a rebirth in love. You're feeling very tender-hearted towards each other. It is Gemini energy. It's all about really allowing yourself to open up and um, feel the love inside that you have. We also have the energy of the Justice card currently indicating that you are in a period of feeling balanced, uh, really looking for relationships that are equal, relationships where there's truth, there's light, there's happiness, or like I like to say, <laughs> the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. It really builds trust. You're in an exquisite energy right now, Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Cups, how your person sees the situation. Well, it looks as though someone may be uh, gone from the scene right now. The Eight of Cups is a card of your person feels as though you've walked away from them. The way they're viewing this situation is that you aren't satisfied, that you want more, that possibly if you haven't walked away, and it doesn't really look like you have, it looks as though your person is is a person who walked away possibly from something else to find their happiness with you. So they see the situation as something that is in, in, is in transition. The Eight of Cups energy is Pisces energy. We have Libra, Gemini, and Virgo energy. So your person is also a person who does walk away. They are seeking a great happiness. The Eight of Cups is moving towards the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups energy. So your person is very watchful right now over what's happening. They would walk away if they feel that they don't receive the truth from you. The situation, how they view you, the death card. Okay, so now we're going to go back to, it looks as though you may have walked away from this person. At, at a very big minimum, you are closing something out. For many of you, there could be a divorce in process, in progress and in process. You may be leaving one person to come into alignment with this new person that we see for you. This beautiful opening to discovery. And you may simply be in an energy with a new lover in which you have experienced all of the above. In their heart space, how do they feel? The Five of Wands. So your person, this does look like a fairly new relationship. It does have a very strong soulmate vibe. What we see is your person, um, Sagittarius, is the Five of Wands, is the energy 
of Leo. So your person is feeling as though they have to compete for your attention. They're not so sure that you have chosen them, although I think you have. So it does show that you know, if there's not a rebirth in the relationship, your person would walk away. So it looks like there's some insecurity here. And yet, this is a phenomenal opening to a relationship. What we see, okay, oh, Sag, your person does not see a way forward. They feel left out in the cold. So again, you may be, you know, as the relationship reading unfolds, um, we see different aspects of it. So what I'm getting here is that Sagittarius, you may be leaving a legacy marriage behind for a lover because the person that you're asking about is feeling left in the cold. They feel as though you walked away from them. The death card is on your relationship, and yet your mutual energy in the recent past was the lovers, but the justice card is is that, you know, could be literally a divorce that's happening in a relationship. So love readings are always easier when we put all the cards out first to see the big picture, but I like to show it as it unfolds. Seven of Cups. The energy that's hidden between the two of you is that you're both uncertain about each other. The Seven of Cups is Scorpio energy. That this relationship... Um, really could be coming about also because your person feels as though you're having an affair. It could be your husband. It could be someone who you're with whom you're married to that feels that they're in the competition of a lifetime. This definitely looks like a very strong love relationship that has really hit a tremendous difficult period. Spirit of the spirit energy spirit is advising you to play it cool knight of wands at your inner energy sagittarius enjoy your life go out there you know wear a helmet put a helmet on protect yourself but go out into the fray of being single be open to new adventures be you know willing to enjoy this sort of player energy in and out basically spirit is saying make no decision right now keep your options open be ready to walk away if you need to you are in a situation where you are competing for your love interest's heart and it looks like right now they're closed off to you your outcome short term is a three of wands well you know who you love the three of wands is all about moving towards solidifying a decision that you've made, making a choice for yourself, looking off in the distance, seeing that your ships have arrived in the harbor. So really pursuing what makes you happy. Spirit is saying that no matter how this is falling, whether this person is a lover outside of a marriage, they're married to you, whatever's happening here, your person is really feeling as though they've chosen you, but you haven't chosen them. So let's go ahead and see what the clarifiers are here for you. It's a very interesting reading. It looks like it could be very, you know, the death card is a painful card, but the cloak of passion and red is still there. The Ten of Pentacles energy, tell us about the status of this relationship. Is this a marriage for most of our viewers out there? Sagittarius, let's see what you have here. What do we have for the clarifiers for the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Cups, happiness. Another way I can read this is that you may have been involved with a lover and you have, are now returning to a marriage, okay? So it's an interesting energy. Sometimes that happens, you know, we have to experiment in life. Seven of Swords energy, something was definitely for pleasure for fun but it wasn't meant to last possibly the seven of swords is also the sneaky energy you know wanting to win something at all costs so it does look like somebody stepped out of a traditional love relationship here uh, into the arms of a lover so why is the lover's card here we have the ace of wands new passion brand new passion a new beginning very passionate beginning we see your person nine of swords is now you know in the recent past all up in their head really feeling remorse and regret after having left a marriage or uh, a committed relationship of long term 
your person looks like you know they are they're wanting to close out that lover's cycle feeling as though there's a player energy here feeling as though it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be so if you're in a situation where you feel like your significant other has cheated on you or stepped outside the relationship it does look like uh, that relationship uh, is ended but, but you know however it resonates these readings can be reversed also the three of coins in it to win it really you know wanting to work on a relationship wanting to collaborate wanting to find the truth wanting to find the path back into this ten of pentacles energy the five of swords says that there have been lies and deceptions the five of swords is an injustice based on not being honest we see the five and seven of swords are very treacherous cards winning at all costs not really being fair but you know there's a lot of spiritual reasons that we go through a particular journey so there's no shade that i'm throwing it's just the energy in the cards so the fool card says that you want to balance everything out you want to your energy here sagittarius is you want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth justice and judgment though is usually a card of divorce it's a card of the final judgment of divorce so it's an interesting complicated read i would suggest to you for those of you who get very confused this is not a personal reading so you all this is like a buffet table you take what a appeals or what applies to you and you you take it like a buffet table you don't necessarily uh, all of the parts of the reading will not apply to everyone okay so why do we have the walk away eight of cups walking into the future to me this looks like a return card it looks like the judgment card has been made that the relationship with a wife a mother of a child is going to be where your person returns to or whoever you know this looks like Sagittarius your person may be returning to someone else but we also see the Leo King so there's a lot of that fire here fire in the belly and we get the death card wow the death card twice so it does look like there is an ending there's no doubt that there's an ending here and it's it's a very very in-depth confusing relationship reading because it, it can go so many different ways okay but the dynamics are here you sort out who it applies to the death card is here because your person feels as though you've broken up with them you've made a choice Sagittarius you've made a choice to basically return to your lover uh, somebody with whom you might have been getting, been getting a divorce but nonetheless they feel as though you're reconciling three of wands that short term you know they don't have an option here that you are returning to somebody with whom you've had a lot of love happiness a best friend tell us more yep four of wands to a marriage so very strong marriage energy temperance is the card of reconciliation for so th for for those of you who are in separation because a, a partner cheated it looks like they're coming back i get the innocence of pentacles that you know whatever your person thinks five of wands whoever you're here to inquire about looks like they're not going to make a huge offer they're going to hold back they're going to move slowly they feel as though you have, you know, you've placed them in a part, in a situation of competing for your attention, for your love. So they're going to be very, very, you know, very uh, careful about what they offer. But the Ten of Coins does look like this is a marriage partner, a marriage partner with who you may have just stepped outside to have a fling for self-discovery. But your partner, we, we're getting this Five of Pentacles. Somebody's left out in the cold and we get the six of cups they certainly want a reunion they want a reconciliation but they're not going to take action they are waiting for the right time your person is in the seven of pentacles energy they are invested in the relationship they will offer a small cup of love and that's it so your person is really waiting for action from you seven of cups energy a lot of confusion between the two of you no clarity Again, that is a Scorpio energy, 
and we have the there's a daddy card the father card the husband card we're getting the energy of the spirit of pentacles which with that ten of pentacles speaks to me that whatever your basic the, real, the primary relationship, the Ten of Pentacles relationship, is the one that is basically weighing in here as the winner, shall we say. The Ace of Coins, a new beginning, a significant offer, the Hermit card, searching for answers is what's going on between the two of you. Why did the Knight of Wands come up as a suggestion? It looks to me as though what we're seeing here, Sagittarius, is that whoever, quote-unquote, was the third party here, and it doesn't really show up as a third party because I think there might have been a divorce in progress and then a reconciliation between two marital partners, it does look like you may have gotten caught in a short shrift, Seven of Cups. Again, not really seen clearly, but... Spirit is saying that, you know, not to make a decision right now. You don't know what the facts are. The Five of Coins, again, repeating itself, saying that you, you're you going to be left in the cold if you make the wrong decision. We also get here, now we have a divine couple because we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Again, very much aligns with the concept of a marriage coming through a difficult time coming through a period of rebirth the three of wands says that the two of you are looking forward you really do feel like you're the right one for each other this sun card we have leo energy it's powerful energy for you it's the energy of great happiness we see the nine of cups here you know we see the six of cups healing 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 from a period of time in which there was absolutely a difficult uh, a difficult situation with the truth so the truth of the matter is is it looks like somebody had a fling it didn't really turn out to be anything and that both of you are finding your way you're willing to give up the burdens of the past you're willing to move in you're willing to heal it is a time when you don't feel very certain about what to do but it does show that both of you are looking at things from a different perspective and both of you are free to do what you want. So this could even be a couple that went all the way through a divorce and is now reconciling. But I see this as, um, you know, I think a marriage that's actually in a situation where there was a third party or there was another party, some player energy here, but that the marriage is what is highly valued. The divine matrix, you know, really searching for those answers and quieting the mind, you know, really understanding everything that was quite beautiful in this relationship. The Ten of Pentacles twice. Legacy, not wanting to give up the legacy. It does look like both of you might be single again, but it looks like you're headed, you're very seriously considering, you know, being in this relationship, this legacy relationship again. Quite unusual reading. I am sending you love from Chicago. That's where I'm broadcasting from. I would love to hear back from you. Like I said, wherever you're at in the world, I am a world traveler extensively as a former crew member retired. So anyway, sending you love, Sag. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.